are three main grounds that you can use to do your encaustic work. Wood, which is the most sturdy, canvas, and paper. My favorite type of wood is birch. Just plain old birch panel. The other that I can talk about also is the canvas. Now, if you're going to do just the canvas, please do not get the canvas that's gessoed and prepare for acrylic. Beeswax and plastic, such as acrylic, do not mix well together. It's disaster. They'll peel off. It won't stick. Just prime it first with the clear wax. And again, you know, you can, you, you see how this was stretched and staple down. So now we starting again if you want to do the wood and not wrap it with the canvas you can paint directly on the wood. Many many encaustic artists do that. Alright I just wanted to give you an example of just use your imagination when it comes to your ground. It doesn't have to be rectangular or square. It can also be circular. This, this also is birch, but a very thick, very thick panel of birch. Just some of the artwork that I've done on wood itself. And just to give you a little teaser, what's to come. Now we're going to talk about the paper. So I have here just a small small piece of paper. It's actually mat board. <laughs> mat board. But you can also use um, like the really nice soft grade of arches or weaves paper that's thick. Um, but this is just an example to show you. One of the reasons why I chose this paper and not the really flexible one is again you have to remember when you do this you have to watch your recipe. Watch what you want to do. Do not use just a lot of hard waxes on something that's flexible. Because if you do that, if, if the ground ever bends, there goes your beautiful work of art. It's cracked. And you could probably repair it, but why go through all of that?